Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm MeadZ69, welcome back to the channel and another top 5 episode. Now this is one of uh, a 3 part series um, and actually it is what a lot of you guys have asked for. It's a question that I get quite, uh, quite often and this one is to do with ratings. I get asked a lot like, what tank would you use for ratings? Um, do you ever play ratings? And if so, like, what's the best tank to use? So, I this is the top five tanks for ratings. Um, and we're going to start off with uh, the T62. The T62A, which I think is just... It's one of my go-to tanks, um, in especially in ratings. It's amazing. It has the DPM. It has the speed. It has the turret armor. It has the gun depression. It has just about everything you need for a ratings game now basically this video is the top five op tanks to use in uh, in ratings because that's pretty much what it is take an op tank and you will do quite well uh, that brings me to the next tank which is the t110 e5 now again this tank is an all-rounder it is it has everything it has speed armor dpm the gun it just literally has everything it's a heavy tank but it's also a medium tank and you can play it basically however you want you could play it with the speed boost and go with your mediums you could play it with the with the heavies and go hold down you it's just a fantastic tank and i always say something like the e5 if you haven't got the e5 or if you haven't grinded the e5 Definitely go grind it because the line isn't even that bad of a grind as well. Like it's quite a nice uh, little grind. So 100% the E5 is also one of my go-to tanks if I do play ratings. Now I very rarely play ratings to be honest, um, but occasionally I just go and calibrate uh, just to see where I, how many uh, points I'd get. And if I get enough, then maybe I'd go for the camo. I do have the camo, uh, the 5k camo and the 4k camo on a few tanks um i'd love to play ratings but at the minute it's just time like I, I don't get the time i am waiting for wargaming to bring the rbm back where you youtubers stream their ratings battles and then they get sort of one tank for every thousand uh, subscribers they they have to give away so on my point if i get 5k subs i'll have uh, if i get 5k rating I'll have like 56, 000, uh, 56 tanks, tier 8 tanks to give away. So I'm waiting for that to come back uh, so then I can actually play a bit of ratings. But you know what? I, I, I do like ratings. I do like ratings, but I just really, I don't even have time to play normal at the moment, um, let alone ratings. That brings me on to the next tier 10 tank I choose to go in ratings. And of course, this is the IS-4. The IS-4 is one of the most uh, OP heavies in tier in tier 10 it has again just like the e5 it has everything um the speed it doesn't have quite the speed as the e5 i don't think uh, but it has so much armor it has the turret armor the whole armor the side you can go hold down you can side scrape you can just do anything with this tank and i always say and I, i've lost count how many times i have actually said um if you're grinding your first tier 10, this tank should be it. You can afford to, to mess up. You have the hit point buff as well, which has just been fantastic. 2,650 hit points, which is insane. So the E5 uh, and the IS-4 are my two heavies to go to in ratings games and then you have the uh, the t62a you could also take the sheridan's a bit difficult you've got the vickers you can take as well and um, there's quite a few if you want to go tds the grill is a very difficult tank to play in ratings but i kind of like it it's the same as the waffle in tier 9 i've actually got the 5k waffle uh, the 5k rate uh, camo sorry in in on the waffle so those are my uh, those are my couple of tier tier um, 10 tanks. So I don't know what I'm saying here. Uh, so also, you don't just have to play in tier 10. Ratings is pretty much any tier, which uh, to be honest, I, I don't like. I don't like that. I think it should just be like tier 10. Tier 10 ratings or 
tier 8 ratings you shouldn't really have those tier 9 tier 7 and then at the end of it if i get 5k ratings in tier 10 and then get 5k ratings in tier 8 my reward is exactly the same i'm going to get the camo maybe they should change it so they should give it a different camo uh, so people actually don't uh, people know that oh, he's, he's good you know he's got 5k ratings in, in tier 10 um, but at the minute no one knows if they play tier 7 they could play the smasher the annihilator anything like that and people are not going to know uh where they got the camo from <coughs> excuse me um so we're just going to watch this game we're going to finish this game here before we go down to tier 8 we choose the couple of tanks in tier 8 which i would uh, would recommend so so far this game 6400 uh, and 91 damage now look at this he's on 800 hit points now 500 he has three tanks all chasing him around god knows what this m46 pattern is doing if you see my video the other day uh with the m46 pattern and i even said in there like i never see an m46 pattern do well what was this guy thinking like now he has the m46 pattern in front of him and a badger behind <laughs> Just God knows what this M46 pattern is doing. Um, he's bounced. This guy here in the IS-4. He has bounced 6,100 damage. 6,100 damage. And not only has he got 6,100 block damage. He has 7,900 damage to go with that. Four kills. Uh, one minute left on the clock. And just a badger to deal with. Now, it, it's quite hard dealing with a badger. Um, I do admit, especially frontally, but that shot there was absolutely vital because now that brings him down to roughly the same uh, as as he is. So if he can get off, uh, if he can get the next shot before the badger gets his shot, then yeah, it's gonna it's gonna change the it's gonna pretty much determine the outcome of this game. You can see he's aiming, and again, side scraping, lovely, lovely bounce, and that is what the IS4 can do. And now he has um, one up over the badger and he can actually take a shot so he can uh just go out but you know what he doesn't he doesn't really need to he is going to take a shot right at the end and he does take out the badger but really really good game 6500 block damage 8800 damage and that is why the is4 is probably one of my top picks in ratings but we're going to go down to tier 8 now just to pick a couple of tanks that i would choose to go in ratings if you want to play tier 8 and one of them is the chimera the chimera is basically one of the most played tanks in tier 8 at the moment um actually not even tier 8 it's like one of the most played tanks in the game funny enough uh it, and it's it's good it's a nice tank and um, when i first made my review in it i actually said like it's a tank that i shouldn't like but i do because of the dpm isn't great it is a medium tank but you've got that armor profile the turret the the hull the armor profile and is, is is amazing and of course you've got that massive gun with the big alpha as well so the chimera is definitely a tank i would recommend in in ratings if you wanted to play tier tier 8 because when you do come up against tier 7 a lot of the tier 8 ratings games is against tier 7 um so the chimera can really hold its own against tier 7 and it's uh, just a fantastic tank and then that brings me on to the last tank and of course it is the object 252u which you can see here i do have the 4k uh, camo rating back in the day i think they changed it now um the uh the car the carbon fiber sort of looking uh looks really good i really like this camo and that's why i wanted to get the 4k i didn't really bother about the 5k because i preferred this camo uh but yeah this object 252u says it all it's it's one of the most op tier 8 tanks in the game of course there is quite a few other tanks you could choose but these are my top five tanks to choose in ratings hope you enjoyed it hope it helps i'm meadzy and i'll catch you soon